Hey guys, hey everybody, I'm so happy to be back. My name's Victoria B. Um, I've been have was having some technical difficulties with my channel. YouTube's advice really didn't help me that much. I ended up just figuring it out for myself. So I was proud of myself for that. I finally got help, but then I figured it out. So yay. So we're back on the air. And I've had this um I've had this uh reading presentation. It's going to be an educational thing, but it will also be very interesting and enlightening. Um, I've had this put away for a while. I planned on doing this a while back, but, you know, my channel didn't get taken down or anything like that. It was just some, I got locked out of my channel and I had to go through, hell, you know, all kinds of channels to finally fix it. And I fixed it. I'm proud of myself, y'all. Anyway. What I'm going to do now, we're going to, these are going to be zodiac signs. This is how your Native American zodiac sign can help you understand yourself and others better. Okay, it's going to be about Native American zodiac signs. They use animals. And even if you're an avid lover of astrology, you'd probably, you probably haven't heard of birth animals. Okay, this is Native American birth animals. That's what they use. But if you're someone who doesn't relate to your astrological sign, you might find this more helpful. Some Native American symbolism uses birth animals instead of the Western astrology to encompass character traits and descriptions of the personality. Many different cultures have different versions of astrology using the yearly calendar to describe human characteristics from Vedic astrology to the Chinese zodiac to the Western astrology. Each of, each of these is different and can be used to under understand yourself or others on a deeper level. Okay, you or someone else. So we're going to start with Aquarius. <laughs> Aquarius. Um, January 20th to February 18th is Aquarius. All right. And Aquarius, your animal, your birth animal, your Native American zodiac sign birth animal is the otter. So you're the otter. And here we have in the animal totem deck, I have this, the otters here. You guys can see that, okay. But they're playing. The otters here are playing. Otters are very, and this is like a six of cups. This is like a bunch of little kid otters playing together, okay. And otter, this is like a family of them playing, cutting up, acting silly. You might like to poke fun at people or you might have a humorous side to you, Aquarius. You could, maybe you hide that and you only show that to certain people. That's what I'm getting. Six of Cups is on this card. And then we have Six of Cups on this, this Otter card, oddly enough. This one says, Reunion, Reminiscing, or Inner Child. Six of Cups and oddly enough, Six of Cups on this. So I'm getting, I'm getting a little message out of this, Aquarius. You may be um, needing to, you may be uh, having a reunion with somebody from the past or reminiscing, or you need to work on your inner child, something like that. Okay, you're very playful. That's the, re okay, this is the description for the otters, for Aquarius. Otters are proud, offbeat, and original individuals who use unconventional methods to get what they want. They might come off as unusual, but their ability to take a different approach makes them excellent problem solvers. Their sensitivity and their sensitivity makes them an attent I'm sorry, their sensitivity and attentiveness make them good friends, honest and reliable to those who count on them. They do require solitude, and when they spend more time alone than with others, an independent streak can make them rebellious, isolated, and a little harsh toward others. Okay, Aquarius, we understand that. So here's your two cards. That's the otter. That's your uh, Native American zodiac sign slash birth animal. Okay. Next one is um, the wolf, which is Pisces. I have a wolf shirt on, but I'm not a Pisces. But I have a lot of Pisces in my chart, though, but I'm not a Pisces. Pisces is the wolf. Pisces is February 19th to March 20th. The wolf. 
So I have two cards here for the wolf. Let's do these first. Whoops. I say we have the wolf here. We have the queen of swords. That's a wolf. The queen of swords and wolf. Another wolf card. I have a knight of pentacles. Looks like you may have cut somebody off because they're, they move too slow. That's just a message that I got out of that. I'm not trying to combine. I, I can't help, but what I see, I see. I got to say it. Okay, the wolf is a contradictory character. While they are loving and emotional, they need their freedom and do not take well to being told what to do. Ooh, Pisces, you don't, you don't wolf, the wolf, the lone wolf, don't like to be told what to do. I can relate to that. They have a deep need to give to others, and because of their generous nature, they desire more than anyone the exchange of giving and receiving love, okay, in abundance. Driven by their emotions and their need for love, they also fiercely guard their independence and don't like to feel tied down, which can provide some conflict in their personality and in their relationships, okay? We got a Queen of Swords, Knight of Pentacles for Pisces. So that's Pisces. The wolf. You're the wolf. Aquarius, you're the otter. Pisces, you're the wolf. All right, we have Aries next. <laughs> Aries is the falcon, I think. Yeah, Aries. I only have one card for the falcon. That's the only one I could find. Aries is March 21st to April 19th. Okay. This card says falcon. Act on the opportunity that's before you and commit to it without equivocation. That could be a message for an Aries. Falcon. Falcon's like the bird on the Nine of Pentacles. Independence. Okay. Uh, entrepreneurship, you know. You're a pioneer. Aries. The Falcon. This symbol is a born leader. Yeah. That's y'all. This symbol is a born leader, always ready to take the initiative, but they are not compulsive. Blessed with good natural judgment, the falcon is great to have around in a crisis because they will inevitably, inevitably get stuff done. Their nature ability, natural ability to lead them can make them appear to lead can make them appear arrogant, which is annoying because their opinion is usually correct. That's funny. They are deeply passionate and supportive and good at maintaining relationships over a long period of time. Good for you, Aries. Good for you, Aries. That's a good one. Falcon. That's the only card I could find for the Falcon. I'm sorry. Okay, the next is Taurus. Uh, April 20th to May 20th. You guys are the beaver. <laughs> okay, we have the Five of Cups. In this card, in this deck here, Five of Cups, this is called a capybara, C-A-P-A-B-A-R-A, -A -A. capybara. It's a Canadian species of beaver, okay? On this card, it looks like somebody left someone behind and that person was injured. I don't know, Taurus, did someone leave you when you were sick or just left you kind of hanging there, hurt you, spilled your cups, or left you when you were sick? This person's bleeding. Did they leave you some? I mean, I, I, I mean, I don't know. Somebody could have just left you. It looks like that other one's leaving. Your mate could have had a breakup with somebody. We have the beaver, seven of cups, dreams, deception, determination. Yeah, this person was deceptive that you were involved with. Very had you confused, had you in illusions. This person has confused themselves. Okay, they do this to people all the time. They leave people in the five of cups energy. Whoever this was you was involved with. Now to the Zodiac part. The beaver. I keep thinking about leave it to beaver. The beaver has a cunning and sharp mind. They are quick thinkers with pro good problem solvers with an attitude that favors maximum efficiency. They are able to adapt and overcome any situation to get the job done. And this makes them a powerful force to be reckoned with when it comes to business they can be held back. They can be held back at times. They can be held back at times by their my way or the highway attitude. <laughs> and, but, but are blessed with a compassionate, loyal character that balances out any controversies they may create. So Taurus, 
you might like to be the boss. You know, you don't like, you're like Pisces a lot. You know, like, you like to be the boss. It's my way or the highway, right? Tauruses are usually good in business, too. Let's see, what else do they have? Do they have anything else for my Taurus? Okay, the next one is going to be Gemini, and this is a deer. I don't have any deer. I didn't have any animals, okay? But, okay, let's do this. Let's just say this is you in the front. Let's pretend like that's a deer. In the background, there are two male deers. What do you call the male deer? I forget. Somebody tell me in the comments. Male deer. These two are going at it. And then there's somebody in the background just chilling. So on this card, Seven of Pentacles in divine timing. Whatever it is you're working on, <laughs> you're having to fight, you're having to fight people for it. You're having to compete or fight people, but you still building those pentacles. You're still having faith and being thankful for everything you got, Taurus. You're doing it. You're doing it. But people are back there fighting. You could have two men or two women fighting over you too. Seven of Pentacles. Everything's going to work out in divine timing. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's the only dear card I had. I'm sorry, Gemini. So Gemini is May 21st to June 20th. The deer is a lively and energetic, is lively and energetic with a sparkling personality and quick wit, making them extremely funny. They are one of they are the kind of people you would want to meet you would want at a party as they make any conversation more lively with their entertaining personality. Their intelligence makes them charismatic as fuck as F, excuse me. People are drawn to them for their warmth and humor. They can be self-involved because of their need to be the center of attention, although they're usually able usually able to avoid taking responsibility because they're so friendly. The deer can be afraid of conflict and may run more and may run from more serious situations, which makes them appear to be two-faced. And that's Gemini. That's y'all's uh, dual personality. Okay, Gemini. The next one is Cancer. <laughs> Cancer, you're the woodpecker. You're the woodpecker. This is the Three of Wands card in the Animal Totem deck. And then we have the Woodpecker, Eight of Swords, and my uh, Ark am Animal Deck. Woodpecker. So we have the Three of Wands, and we have the Eight of Swords. Um, on this, this is Eight of Swords. Self-imposed prison, new perspectives. Well, you could be going through that right now. You could be so feel like you're in a, a mental prison, or you feel blocked. But all this time, you're still getting new perspectives because you're looking. You set your intentions on something, and you're still holding on to this third one. You're still waiting for something is what I'm seeing. Okay, so even though you're in this energy, you may be getting new perspectives. You know, it could be uh, the Eight of Swords or the Hangman here. But you got, you're, you're, you're holding on tight to the third one. Whatever this is you're trying to manifest, if you can just get out of, out of your mind. That's what I'm getting for you. That's cancer. Cancer is June 21st to July 21st. And this is the, um, the, the, the Native American part of it. I'm just giving y'all a little reading while I'm doing these cards. The most nurturing of the symbols, the woodpecker is supportive, empathetic, and caring, but also can be extremely jealous and possessive. Yeah, y'all can be like that. <laughs> They are ideal when they when they put their nurturing qualities to work because of their ability to listen and understand without judgment. This makes them reliable partners and friends. The woodpecker is known to be to be frugal, thrifty, with a talent for organization and budgeting budgetary planning. Wow, that's very good, um, Cancer. I like that. Yep. So you got the woodpecker. Why does a woodpecker peck wood? Anybody know? Answer in the comments. And also on this cancer, the woodpecker, um, I see this woodpecker right here on the Eight of Swords, right, right here, sorry, right here. And then I see this 
woodpecker going this way. Somebody may be behind you trying to block whatever this three of wands is, trying to keep you in a mental prison, whoever you're with, something like that. But you still, you're still holding on to the third one. Whatever you have set your intentions for with, with the two of wands, three of wands, you're waiting for it. Somebody may be trying to block you. I don't know. That's what I'm getting. So, anyway, you are the woodpecker. <laughs> All right. Next is uh, Leo. July 22nd to August 21st. You are the salmon. S-A-L-M-O-N. Salmon. I know where I'm from, people say salmon, <laughs> but I say salmon. All right, let's see. This is the salmon. This is the Eight of Cups. All right, Eight of Cups. Uh, this is salmon. They swim upstream, and then the bears catch them and eat them, okay? So you need to be careful there. Uh, salmon, you tend to go against the current. You're trying to go against the current. You're trying to walk away from a situation, but I feel like you're going against the current. You're going the wrong way. You're going in the wrong direction. You need to go where the current flows, not where it's not where you, where it's. You need to go downstream, not upstream. So whatever decision is that you're trying to make, or if you're having a hard time, try another. Go the other direction. Try the other plan. Okay, Leo. Anyway. This is the uh, description of your Native American zodiac sign, the salmon. The salmon is a, is a live wire with an infectious energy that's hard to ignore. Much like actual salmon who swims against the current, they are goal-oriented with a need to find and chase their purpose in life. Those who encounter them will struggle to resist being swept up in their enthusiasm for whatever project they have chosen. They, they are stable and calming by nature, and with their drip, drive and enthusiasm, they can be sensual and passionate partners. Don't you love Leo? Mm-hmm. Don't you love Leo? Okay, my video froze. Hopefully, it'll come back on in a minute. That's a good one, Leo. Very good. Well, we almost got them all in. Hmm. I don't know if I need to make a make another video or not. Let me try pause. 